So, in Blender, if I ask you what is the most important object, the answer should be camera. Because without a camera, we get nothing in the final output. Apart from the camera, another important element we often overlook is the lighting. Whenever we start a new composition, Blender by default adds this light. To see the effect of the light better, let us change the material of this object to some other color. In the previous tutorial we have discussed about how to add new materials and various shaders. The link is in the video description. Let us also add one floor here. Just add a plane and enlarge it. Also change the world material to have the environment lighting completely blacked out. So we can see the shadow effects much better. But having a light in our scene is not always sufficient. We need to have appropriate lighting. For example, look at this scene. We have a low light condition here, and as a result the objects are a little dark. In this scene, the objects got overexposed. Too much light here. Now let us look at another scene. We got a special lighting arrangement here. The result is so nice and eye-catching. Back to our original scene, if we select the default light, we can see a new tab is now visible under the properties editor, that is the light tab. We can change the type of light here. There are also other properties of the light listed here. We have a point light right now. If we change the strength field of the light to say 2000s, we can see more light in our scene. You can also move the light to some other place, just like any other object. The shadow will change its direction accordingly. A shadow essentially makes a scene look real. If we change the light type to sun, everything is whitewashed because the strength of 2000s is too much for sunlight. A value of 3 to 5 is good enough for most of the scenes. The shadow of a sunlight does not change its direction even if we move the sun. That is because sun is assumed to be already at an infinite distance, so its physical location does not matter. But there is one little handle given for the direction of sunlight. If we change its position, the shadow will change its direction as well. This is one special feature of sunlight. Let us change our light source to a spotlight now. We need to also increase the strength value to say 2500 watts. A spotlight is exactly what it should be. It creates a focus on our target object and it does not light any other object in any other direction. The position of this light is very important in order to achieve the effect that we want, but once properly arranged, it can create a marvelous look. Finally, let us go to the area light. It is quite similar to the point light we have already seen. There are some differences, like in the area light we have this little handle that allows us to change its direction. An area light also creates softer shadow than the point light. But both of them cast darker shadow than a sun. You can experiment with your light, you will discover more beauties. So, the other thing you can do is, you can change the color of the light. It magically brings different shades and different moods into your scene. Perfect. If you want, you can also add multiple lights into one scene, to light your objects differently. Let us change the strength of this new light, and also its location. Light generally comes from the top. So, somewhere here. You can see, after adding the new light, our object now has two different shadows on two different sides, generated by the two different lights we have added here. Although the shadow is important, for some reason if you want this cube not to cast any shadow at all, you can do that by changing its material property. Go to the Material tab, and skip all these, scroll all the way down to its shadow mode, and change it from opaque to none. The shadows will disappear. Now, what if you want the object to catch light from only one light source and ignore the other lights? We can do that by using the view layers. We will discuss that in the next tutorial. But let us see one more thing. Let us delete these two lights now. It will be completely black. We can't see any object if we have no light, but there is an exception. If the object is of emission type, it will emit light on its own and will be visible. It can even light the other objects nearby. Let us go to the World tab and change the background color back to gray. To summarize this class, we can say that Blender has four different types of light, and the fifth type is the emission shader. That's all for today guys. Let us catch up soon. Thanks for watching.